nothing cause bad bitches is a gift from God I think you broke hoes, need to get a job Now I'm a boss, I run my own name on the checks Pussy so good, I said my own name during sex I might smack a bitch cause I felt like Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel Today I'm gonna be doing my hits and misses video This is like the first one I've ever done of these So please bear with me um, I do have some hits and I do have some misses. I'm gonna tell you why they're hits and why they're misses, all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, you're in the right place and just keep on watching. Alright, so for my first hit, that is going to be the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. And I have mine in the shade Buff Beige. Now, um, this is... It usually is too dark for me, but I have hit the sun. As you guys can tell, I am very bronzed. Um, I've been in the sun lately, and this is actually like the perfect shade for me now. I do have to get a lighter one, probably like a shade or two lighter, um, for when the tan, you know, disappears and it decides that I gotta be pasty again. Um, but this foundation, it has great coverage, first of all, and it makes my skin look beautiful I actually have it on today so like the coverage obviously is there like this is a hit and I definitely love this all right next I have a powder now this powder is really just for setting the under eye but it's a new find and a new purchase I haven't had it that long and I've used it a couple times and I absolutely love this and it is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. It is the perfect banana shade for under the eye. And it doesn't make it super yellow or nothing like that. Like, it's, it's perfect. And it leaves it super, super smooth down there. And honestly, like, you guys see my under eye. I love it. It's, it's beautiful on the skin. And I definitely recommend this powder. Alright, next is bronzer. I haven't used this much, um, just a couple of times, and honestly, I like it. It makes it, like, like you can see, like, this little glowy kind of look, but that's not this bronzer, honestly. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's the Physician's Formula but, um, Butter Bronzer, but this one is a close second. It's the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer, and this is in the shade Sun Bronze. It's got, like, a little sun on here. Um, it is a close second for the butter bronzer, but hands down, the butter bronzer is my number one. But this is, this, I recommend this one. This one's good. So, yeah. Alright, next for my eyebrows, I have the e.l.f. Um, brow kit. Looks like this. Um, I've used it a couple times. It's not terrible. It's not super amazing. But honestly, for its price, I have to give it a hit because... Like, I don't really use the powder in here. Sorry. I don't use this powder because it's it's a little light for me. But this gel, this gel right here, it's it's perfect for my brows. Um, like, honestly, there's a lot of hits and misses in the e.l.f. brand. So, if I were you guys, I would definitely recommend checking out the e.l.f. products. Because a lot of them are really, really good. And they're all affordable, so... Definitely check them out. Alright, and this next product, it's a concealer, although it's a little thick for the under eye. I use it to clean up my brows, um, and that is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light. Um, I alternate between the light and the medium. And this is also really good to cut the crease if you um, want to use a thicker kind of formula. This is good because a wetter one, it kinda, it's kind of hard to keep it in that one place because you gotta like blend it out this one it's perfect for cutting the crease and also it's great for your eyebrows so yeah I did this crease today with this one so I recommend that for sure all right my next hit is the Milani make it last setting spray now I've gone through so many of these and honestly I love them like I could just spray myself all the time First of all, I like the sprayer on it. It's like a beautiful, it's like a beautiful mist. Okay, it doesn't like a, it's not harsh. It doesn't leave a bunch of dots on your face or whatever. This is what it looks like. 
I do love the Make It Dewy, but I think my mister is, is going bad because it's like slapping me in the face. But it didn't always do that, so I just probably need a new one. It's almost empty anyway, so I'll probably just get a new one. But the Make It Last, I absolutely love this, and the mist is great. And it sets it in place all day long. Alright, and lastly for my hits, it is the Flower Beauty Highlighting Palette. Now I got mine in Shimmer and Strobe. Is there more than one? I guess not. I don't know. But it's this one. I don't use this brush, so. But these shades are absolutely beautiful on the skin. Um, that's not what I have on today, but I do have on the um, Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. This one. It's in pearl, and I absolutely, like you guys see this highlight, like, yes, hunty, yes. But this one, I love this one as well, and I definitely recommend getting this palette for sure. Alright, so those are my hits. Now it's time for the misses. And honestly, some of these might come as a shock to you, some of them might not. But honestly, I'm here to be honest with you guys. So, alright, so the very first miss was the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. Now, I wanted to love this palette, and honestly, I made a very good look out of it. However, I had to dig into the shade Ice Pop, Coral Punch, and Strawberry Lemonade. You guys see the little imprints. I had to dig and build and build and build and build and I don't like having to do all that. I mean, building a couple of times, sure, why not? But not building and building and building. It took me two hours to do the look I did and I'll leave it somewhere on the screen. I literally only used those three shades and it's still, I don't know, I just, this palette wasn't working for me and I wanted to love it but I just, I couldn't get myself to love it, honestly. So, that's a miss. Sorry. Alright, next miss is by Burt's Bees. Um, my haul a couple videos back, I did a Burt's Bees, well, I got two blushes from that brand. Um, the one of them, the one of them, one of them is good and one of them is not. And the one I don't like is Toasted Cinnamon. This is like orange and honestly it's also very shiny and it could probably pass for a bronzer for someone a little bit darker than I am. And yeah, I just, I, I don't like that brush. Blush, 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 I don't like that blush at all so don't get that, don't waste your coin. Alright, next from Burt's Bees, this was not in a haul video because I just got it a couple days ago. That is the Burt's Bees um, Conditioning Lip Scrub. Now, I, I got this and I thought it was going to be great. You know, great. No. As you can see, I did use it. And the consistency is not... It's more conditioning than anything because there's not any any like bees to exfoliate your lips so if you have dry skin all over your lips this is not gonna do a motherfucking thing this might give it some moisture but that's all it's gonna do so don't waste don't waste your coin on that I'd rather you go get the one from elf it's like four bucks or the shop miss a one and it's only a dollar and those they get the dead skin off a one and they moisturize so don't waste your money on that get the others Alright, next for mascara. I wanted to really love this CoverGirl one. This is the Super Sizer Fibers. This is like for like your under under lashes. Lower lashes, I can't talk. Um, I don't know if mine's just like a dud. But like, I tried to use this today. And I had to do, well as you can see, there are two different shades now. My under eyes. Because when I put it on, it like smudged right on my lower lashes so I said fuck you and uh this is bullshit don't use that don't waste your money 
All right, the next one is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Um, this is in black. Honestly, it is a good liner. Looks like this. Um, it's just when you do your wing, it's it's wet for a good amount of time, and then you usually get that black shit up there. I fucking hate that. I want it to dry super quick. So other than that, and the fact that I got to go over it a couple times because it kind of chips off a little bit. Those 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 are kind of important for an eyeliner for me, so that's why this is a miss. But I mean the pigment and everything, it's good. So honestly, it's worth it if you don't mind, you know, blowing it or whatever. But this is what I have on today. As you can tell, my wings are different sizes again. Whatever, we're not gonna worry about that. But yeah, I don't like the eyeliner that much. All right. Alright, next dud is the LA Girl Glide On Gel Liner, and I have mine in the shade Champagne. Now, I absolutely love the black one. The black one is perfect. It, like, glides on super smooth and everything. This, this motherfucker, he chips off all up in my eyeball, and then they get all watery. Um, you can tell I have it on here. On this one, not so much, but mm -mm. this is a no from me. Sorry. No, I'll use my black one and I'll keep using the black one because so far that is the best gel pencil liner I've ever found. So, no to that one, yes to the black one. Alright, next is a setting spray and honestly I've had this in my collection for quite a while and I just never got around to using it until recently. And that is the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. And this is like a matte spray or whatever. I don't like this shit. It stinks and honestly, it didn't even set my face right. Like, it put like specks of water, like drops, onto my skin and I don't like that. So I had to have it like this to set everything. But, I mean it set it. It definitely wasn't matte though. Like, at all. It wasn't matte. It was just like wet looking so this is definitely not this is no I don't like that all right also setting spray this is the elf makeup mist and set I went out and I bought this because people are saying oh it's a really good one Ew, bitch you wear because this is butt all right and the very last mist in this video is the Physicians Formula 24 Karat Gold Collagen Serum. Um, Alright, so the last miss in this video is very sad and depressing because honestly I wanted to love this. This is the Physicians Formula 24 Karat Gold Collagen Serum. It's got these little specks of gold in there. I don't know if they're real gold though. The pump and everything is just dandy. However, this shit broke me the fuck out. Look, I have a pimple here there I had one here it's going away and y'all can see that one this broke my face out and I only used it twice I used it two days in a row you know as a serum and the shit broke me out and I don't look I don't like pimples y'all I wore this to go to an interview like you know prep my skin whatever the next morning when I woke up I had pimples and yeah you can still see some of them thankfully they're going away I hate pimples though anyone who knows me will tell you I don't like breaking out I don't like looking at pimples and I don't want them there just saying if you don't like acne or pimples give this video a thumbs up though that would be great all right so those were my hits and misses should I put these on nope I should not Alright, those were my hits and misses. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you agree with any of these, give it a thumbs up. If you disagree with any of these, give it a thumbs up. Also, mm, alright, so those were my hits and misses. Um, I know I'm going to get asked in the comments what I did to my makeup. Um, honestly, I followed somebody on Instagram and I seen a look that she created and I wanted to reenact it. Honestly, they don't look the same, but they do look similar. Um, 
I don't know. It's whatever. I cannot do makeup for my life, I swear. But yeah, these are my hits and misses. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And then like always, I love you guys.